Hello and welcome to the Gotham Chronicle. I am Magnum Pi. We are Initiative Zero. I am here with Dark Templar, Teku, Vahilo, and Golgotha. And this is the second episode of our second story that we are doing an, an actual play on the interweb. This is fantastic. I'm going to turn it over to Golgotha for a recap. But before I do that, if you like us, please hit the like button. If you really like us, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if you want to be notified of our next video, hit the bell. And always, if you have something to say to us, put it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Golgotha. All right. Well, not a heck of a lot happened yesterday. Or not yesterday. Sorry. That last game. Uh, but what it was was eventful, at least for me. Uh, so we left uh, and headed back to Gotham. Uh, and I had a large uh, stake skewered through me still losing a lot of blood. So they finally took me to hospital. Honestly, they should have taken me to the hospital much earlier. We might have avoided the situation we were in, but say la vie. Um, long story short, I lost a leg. So awesome. Actually, to be fair, I lost a leg below the knee, but still awesome. Thanks, Dark Templar. You're welcome. I was being sarcastic. Anyways. You're, you're welcome anyways. <laughs> Anyways, that's what happened, uh, and uh, you know, I guess I've gone through several weeks of uh, downtime of, uh, of therapy, and I now am walking completely normally with no distinguishing features suggesting I have no leg, right? So that's true, too, right? Nope. Of course not. I'm pretty sure you also have depression. Yeah. And, appar and apparently I'm depressed. But for good reason. Which reason. makes sense, because I lost my leg, because my friends didn't take me to the hospital in time. They you know, took just, you on you know, time. What are you talking about? We, 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 we could have gone much earlier. How? We I, didn't have to drive all the way. We didn't, have to drive, we didn't have to drive all the way to Gotham. I'm sure there are hospitals in Delaware. I don't know if our... We wanted to get you the best possible care that was available. Not in yep. Gotham. You know my history of the hospitals there. We took you right back to the hospital yeah. and tried to turn you up for parts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you for that. <laughs> I thought about that afterward. Well, I, thought, I thought about it during. <laughs> yeah, all that way in my mind is at all. that I drove my best. I succeeded on many driving tests. Yep. And I, I talked you there. off a ledge. And yep. I didn't raise any suspicion either. After all, yep. you know dude with something through his leg and a bunch of guns and swords in the car, we don't really want to get pulled over. That no, would have really is... delayed things. Yep. Anyways, that's where we're at, and uh, so, there we go. Yep, totally not bitter about it. At all. Anyways. Not at all. Not at all. No, right. not at all. Cool. Oh, and so, Stan stole my knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He did. We're not I there did. yet. We're not there. We're not. Oh yeah, there I forgot yet. about that. He did steal the knife. He did steal the knife. I forgot about that. There was another thing. Yeah, I don't know that yet. Yeah, you don't know that, but but I will. But yeah. you will. I didn't really but steal it though. All right. It, it attached to him. Like imprinted. So I'm gonna fast forward like a month here, and uh, you're at your offices, and um, the normal work day, just so you guys know, they are working at a law firm, in case you guys forgot that. I know it's been a while since you actually haven't seen them in their law firm because they were in Delaware when we first started this, this entire show. Um, but yes, they actually do have jobs, and uh, they are lawyers, except for uh, Bahilo here, who's the security guard at, this, at said firm. And uh, yep, they have a secretary named Debbie, or Debra, and uh, she's also gone through some shit oh. that they haven't mentioned yet, <laughs> but they will in a few seconds. So, we're going to just start off really, really casually. Oh, no. What? We're going to start off really, really casually here. And um, we're going to start off with uh, Golgotha. Uh, Diego, sorry. Uh, and Golgotha, you, had, you said you had a, a prosthetic leg you said you got put on, right? I do. I do. It's an awesome looking one. It's like basically the Blade Runner one. So, we're good. Fair enough. Right. Just don't give that man a shotgun. Um, so... <laughs> We're gonna start off with you in your cubicle or your your office. Sorry, you have a uh, so I've got an office. Thank That's you. That's right. Go ahead. What do you want to do? All right. Well, I am currently uh, on the phone with uh, clients, uh, drumming up business, 
you know, focusing on the actual work because I'm all about work right now because it keeps me from thinking because thinking and being alone in my thoughts right now, I don't want to do that. So that's what it was keeping you from thinking all these years. Mm. No, among other things. All right, we'll move on to Stan in your other corner office because <laughs> you are obviously the brother of this uh, of uh, Blade Runner here. That's right, the brothers and Nowak. Exactly, brothers. Wait, 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 what? No. <laughs> all right. Yes. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm never going to go by Nowak. Why? It's a nice name. No, it's it's not. It's Novak, uh, but yeah. Still, it's whatever. a cool name. We want to get that right there, Diego. I don't care. So, uh, yeah. That's your brother, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still don't care. How do you expect us to answer the phones at this law firm? <laughs> that depends how you're feeling these days. Is it going well, to no, be I am Novak and Valez? Actually, or, I mean, N goes before it V. It's, Vel it's Velez and Novak. Is it like Novak and three quarters Velez? Oh, dear no, God. No, that's not nice. I am not nice. Anyway, so why would I be answering right. the phone? What would you like to do there, Stan? Um, I'm going to be making my calls. I'm going to be looking for clients and, uh, you know, seeing if there's any ambulances driving by. Things that lawyers do, you know. Sounds good. Let's move on to uh, Travis. What do you want to do? Well, I am at work right now, right? Yep. Probably work-related things. That's very specific. Well, I mean... In all likelihood, I would have cases, I'd have clients. I would have all sorts of duties that I would be diligently attending to. Totally not just sitting in my office. Actually, do I have an office? I forget. Was I upgraded from the cubicle or no? No. Well, it was kind of an office. They all had doors, didn't they? Yeah, that's true. They had doors. It was an office, technically. Yeah, the, the secretaries near our offices would have had, like open sort of offices, cubicle areas. And we don't have, we only have Debbie now, right? That's right. We never really yes. had a whole suite of secretaries. No. So no. we could start. Is that what you call a group of secretaries, a suite? I don't think so. Mm. I'll go with that. I'm about to yeah. slide. I have a gavel. That sounds fine. The point is, we could renovate. I mean, I know we have the big board room for major problems and the small board room for major problems but just with less also a vault yes we have a vault. I think, I yeah, think we, we took out two of those offices to put in a vault we there's only one we didn't i wouldn't have authorized two i think you upgraded to a panic that's a, that's a yeah. pretty, that's pretty small vault yeah it was definitely two it was definitely two and and i don't think i really had the need to run it by you I just did it. That's right, he did. Well, let's and I put it on the company card and you paid else. it off. No, it's time, no. And we have enough weird artifacts that they should be in a vault. Yeah, between the ginormous paintings and the... So I'm, I'm yeah. not opposed to, yeah, yeah. A, to a large no, vault. That, that's probably... And again, it's, it's probably nice to have somewhere for Debbie to go the next time she's going to be kidnapped. Having it double as a safe room is probably not the worst thing. Cool. All wait, right. Wait, wait, wait. We're Let's giving go. Debbie the combo to the to the vault. <laughs> See, when I when I think vault, I'm I'm now thinking that you've gone full bank here, where you open the primary vault door, which would be big and heavy, and inside there would be safe deposit boxes and other. It, it wouldn't just be one big open room with a bunch of shit laying around, right? Why not? You yeah, because we, we were just we were just concerned about storing. Be like a, be like a dragon's den. What so we have a den? horde, is what yeah. we have. Yeah. Do we have uh, Kevin Leary in it. Oh. No. No. Well, yeah, it's, I'm I'm pretty sure when I got this vault put in, because uh, I was talking to my vault guy. It's basically just a bigger room that we can store stuff in. It's, no. it's not like a bank vault with a whole bunch of little safety deposit boxes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that'd be also, weird. it is just one big open space with a bunch of shit laying around. Yeah. So, so a if you filing want... cabinets. I'm pretty sure there was paintings. discussion of a pile of coins that we could swim in at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
would be awesome. Well, that's that's, that's if that's if Diego can actually steer this law firm out we of We are making money, man. We are making bank. Well, on that I'm smooth transition, oh, we've made I'm assuming calls. I'm assuming this conversation isn't happening because you're not in the, any of the boardrooms. So no, what it's else happening you... over it's happening over the intercom. <laughs> yeah, what else <laughs> do you do? Apparently I haven't even gotten to work yet. So <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, Mahilo, you're at work. I'm in my office doing lawyer things. Okay, Mahilo, you're also at work. What do you okay, want to do? I'm, I'm gonna show up about fifteen minutes late. Sounds good. So pretty okay. usual. Not per usual. I was always the first one, but you know, this is new Vahilo or new. Uh... <clears throat> so I just stroll in. Uh, Debbie's there, and she goes, "Hi, how are you doing?" I'm just gonna walk right past. Okay. And she kind of looks at you, and uh... all right. Now I'm gonna go down and sit at my desk and just close the door to my office. Yes. And I'll do my usual. I'll sit down. I'll check the security cameras, see what happened over the weekend. Anything uh, anything interesting going on? Usually, uh, your, your usual fare. You had uh, some drunkards in the alley walking back or stumbling back to wherever they came from, from the bar scene area that you are quite acquainted with. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, though. There's, like, shadows or, like, you know, vampires just walking around or any that kind of shit. But, yeah, just regular things. Okay. Um, it's been pretty... Once I... it's been pretty uh, you, you actually, uh, just to give you a sidebar for all of you, it's been pretty quiet since you've gotten back. Like, there hasn't been uh, very much activity, paranormal or otherwise, um, since you've gotten back. Oh, why can't all the time be downtime? <sighs> so so uh, once I kind of check the cameras, I just want to leave again and just do, like, a walk around of the building. Okay. Are you something in particular? No, just, you know, if there's, you know, things on the ground, like, you know, if there were some drug addicts and whatever, just... You know, if there's needles and all that kind of stuff, getting, you know, trying to maybe sweep those up and just kind of get them, get rid of them, throw them into the dumpster, that kind of thing. Um, okay, you can get a, I don't even know what you would give me, a what's plus composure check, I guess, to see if you've seen anything on the ground. Okay. Oh, that was a chance roll. Oops. You still failed, I think. Yeah, because the chance was only one die. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you see your regular, uh, your, your your regular, you know, garbage. Nothing, nothing like out of the ordinary. It isn't like needles, as you were trying to say, or you know, a wooden stake anywhere, or bullets. Um, it's just your regular garbage that might have been blowing up to that area, because obviously it's a wind tunnel in a in an alleyway kind of sort sort of situation. But nothing out of the ordinary. Kind of, there's maybe some light graffiti here and there. That was, is quite new, but nothing, uh, nothing that uh, sh- kind of jumps out at you. Is there any graffiti on our building? There is some graffiti on your building. Okay, so uh, I want to. When I get back to my office, I want to call somebody to come clean it off. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, just some minor graffiti, like someone's name, like Bellio or something like that. Okay. Cool. So you walk back in, and uh, as you walk in, walk back in. Deborah says, "Hey, how you doing? Everything all right? Yeah, it's all good. Good. Kind of uh, walk past me the first time there. Coming on your yeah, mind? it's it's a uh, I don't know. It's a busy morning. I think Diego's kind of upset about you know the procedure he had done. I was a little late to work." Didn't want to get on the boss's bad side, you know? True. I understand. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Here, I, uh, there was some, like, I went to the post office and there was some mail. Uh, I don't, like, it does not, there's just some flyers and shit like that. But can you mind putting in the, uh, in the room there, like the, uh, the lounge there? And just whoever wants to look at it looks at it. Yeah, is there anything for me? I, I didn't see anything with your name on it, but if you, there's some flyers and stuff, you might be really interested in. Okay, um, I'll I'll take it and I'll just go and throw it on the table. And okay, then, sounds uh, good. Leave. Sounds good. All right, so you throw it, and uh, as you th- your the Travis's uh, office is uh, just a just by that lounge. Um, just so you know, yeah. uh, I don't know if you want to drop in on anybody. What do you want to do? No, I just want to go back to my office. All right, so you go back to your office. Sounds good. Anybody else want to do anything? 
Mm, I don't know. Is there... I'm trying to... Uh, I want to try to, I don't know, find some way of... I don't know, like contacting the Fey world. Like I hope I've been trying to get a hold of them again over the past month, just to try to get some direction about what's supposed to be coming down. Hmm. Do you want to like do a do you want to like do a search or something like that? Maybe perhaps like a Wits plus occult or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Maybe if you're on a computer, maybe you can use that as a as a bonus. I don't know if you plan to do that or not, or do you have any other uh, resources that you're looking at. I don't know. I'd, I'd imagine I would use whatever resources I have available to me. How much of a bonus would I get? Maybe one. I would give you one. Okay. Cool. Well, I was six successes. Awful. What do you want to know? I'm just looking... Like, they were talking about how, you know, the that... Uh, basically, the, the, we were going to be able to, to confront the remaining evil fey, I guess, that these deadly sins are. Just trying to find ways of, I guess, coordinating and and taking everything that they had told us, mixed with what we had already known, to try to draw some sort of conclusion about where we can go to precipitate the final conflict to resolve things, to bring God All right. back to what it was. Fair enough. So some of the things you, did, you do learn is that uh, <clears throat> they uh, really enjoy manifesting themselves as um, common, I guess, not necessarily tales, but perhaps superstitions and, uh, and uh, fictional characters that are some, well, used to be in pop culture and may still be in some pop culture uh, in the current society. And as a result, uh, sometimes they can manifest themselves and change themselves, hence the word, the name changeling, to different various objects and also... Uh, to look like certain, you know, humanoids or, you know, a bug or a certain animal or a hybrid chimera looking thing, right? Uh, but they all kind of point to the same idea that they need to be significant. If they're not significant in the society that they're in, then they tend to fade away. And that's where they lose much of their power and their, their influence. Um, of course, you know that these particular uh, fey, you just call them dark fey or demon fey or whatever you just named off, have manifested themselves into the deadly sins, which, of course, is uh, something that, uh, you know, Gotham is quite known for at the moment, is currently sinking in and suffocating in, is this type of sin. Mm -hmm. The sins that you know of currently that you have, uh, not the ones you have defeated, but you have defeated sloth, greed, and gluttony, but you know that there is wrath, pride, envy, and lust that you have also encountered. And one other symbol you have not technically um found out what it is yet and you ha you're trying to search for it unfortunately it doesn't show up it's a it's you, you kind of send a picture you put in a chat and really no one's really seen that symbol except for the people who played that game apocalypse and uh they're like yeah that's the apocalypse symbol you're like, yeah yeah i know that but what's the mean and no one really has an answer for you unfortunately uh they just thought it was a really cool symbol that and they're like what are you talking about and, you know fairies don't exist kind of thing and uh so these particular manifestations, of course, are very prevalent in the society currently because people sin all the time using things like wrath, pride, lust, envy, greed, you know, gluttony, and slothiness, right? And so they have been able to thrive, especially in a city as as rich with, uh, you know, uh, despair and suffering such as Gotham currently is, and you can feel it all around you, especially. So, um, you know, it gives you some ideas also about like how to go about. Um, hurting it how to destroy some of the things and some of the things obviously you've currently done so far though unorthodox as it may seem now sorry uh, sorry uh, before seem quite obvious now that you use the certain ways to trick or manipulate or you know uh, certain weaponry that you've used in the past that has uh, been able to defeat said fey and you know that for example lead uh, is, is quite uh, uh, useful as well but they lead. can be damaged by other things mm -hmm. really lead Lead. I always thought cold iron was fairies. That as well. Lead. Cool. Lead. Well, I'm glad bullets are made of lead. Um, do I still have that dagger that I was playing with? You still have it. Cool. And that's Travis. As far as I know. Yeah. And that's there Travis. is Travis's, but yeah. it's been a month. I don't know if you gave it back to him or not. You I, I'd imagine I like... had it. My intention wasn't to keep it, but I would, I would have wanted to show him how to use it, too. 
Okay, so do you want to give it? So does Travis have it, or do you have it? I'll have given it back to him then. Okay, so you don't have it currently, no. No, no, no. Um, yeah, and then I'll. Uh, I'm gonna walk to Diego's office. Okay, so you walk to Diego's office. Yeah. Diego's office door is open or closed? Closed. Yeah. Closed. I closed. Open it, walk in. Hey, so um, I, I've just been doing a lot of thinking about uh, about resolving all these problems that we've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The problems. Um, like evil not, supernatural. Not a bitch. Oh, those problems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, well, it's been quiet, and that bothers me. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'm quite happy. It means I don't lose more legs. Well, you could lose more. I mean, you still have another one. Thank you. That's very positive. I appreciate well, I'm the... Just, I'm just saying that if we don't resolve the conflict before it comes to a head, then <laughs> it might be beyond us to resolve. Right? It might be too powerful. Like we, We've gotten lucky. Yeah, no, you're right. So, what do you what did you learn? Well, I haven't really learned as much so much as I've been just been thinking about, you know, I mean, if they're the seven deadly sins, we got we can track down four of them by looking for places of wrath or pride or lust or envy. I mean, lust. There's the tower nearby, right? The yeah, right. That that uh, Cl do we know that Clayton has connections or no? Yes, you do. Okay, that Clayton's got connections with. Yeah. Hey, by the way, my uh, my window, my mirror in my bedroom is still or bathroom still has the uh, the 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 uh, the uh, the V thing. So that's the uh, that's wrath. That's, most, that's wrath. Yeah. So I've still got that wrath in my window. Maybe I should bust the window or the, that the window, the glass mirror. Yeah. Well, and and when we went back in time before, there was a lot of anger there, wasn't there? There was. Yeah. I. Uh... I don't know. Lust seems to be the one on the list here for me. It's just right next door. Like, well, it's convenient that way. Yeah. I mean, and wrath is in my is my bathroom, maybe, but you know, this is also convenient. But but I don't know. Have you felt particularly angry when you're in your bathroom? Well, no more, no, no more, no more than usual. <laughs> okay. So I didn't have any corn. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I swear to God, I went. Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But um. Yeah, I mean, like, don't eat so much cheese, and you'll be fine. But yeah, um, I like cheese, though. Yeah, I know it's hard. Um, that's not, it is. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, but envy, envy. I mean, well, I mean, banks or like business. I don't know. I, you know, where would envy be? I guess shopping malls, where you can see all the people with stuff and that you want. I suppose. Um, Pride? Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's an awful lot of... Well, there's sports. <clears throat> Maybe the Knights have something to do with it. Oh, well, they had a lot of things to do with the other things, so why not? It could make sense. Yeah, yeah. We should talk to the other two. <sighs> yeah. Get back on this before it gets back on us. Mm -hmm. Call a meeting? Yeah, we'll use the large boardroom. Oh, shit. That's serious, man. Yeah, That's it's right. serious. That's right. I race to the large boardroom. Well, I'm not going to race because I can't. You're still pretty fast. Well, I'm actually very, I mean, that's I'm actually cool. quite I'm, I'm actually quite fast for the uh for the injury. So, I'm actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, you know, I'd imagine you'd be less so without, you know, the prosthetic, but Oh, of course, yes. I, mean, I need that. You're, you're not doing too bad. Yeah, I'm okay. And if, if that mechanically, if that gets in the way of you succeeding at things, right? If it's if it becomes a detriment, you get an extra experience point. This is this is true, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. Are you calling a meeting? I'm guessing you're doing all the PA, or what are you doing? Just no, I'm going to stop at people's offices on the way. Hey, right, so you stop off at uh, the Hilo's first. Clayton. Clayton, sorry, Clayton's first. Yeah. All right. My my door is closed. Yeah, I open and walk in. Hey. Oh, hey, Stan. How you doing? I'm shopping for a new car. Cool. 
Um, we should probably address the remaining vices. We're going to meet in the large boardroom. Can we put up a symbol of wrath and watch Diego have a stroke? Um, no, but there was that picture, right? Like the paintings that are in the vault? No, there was a, a picture, that picture. Was on somebody's phone at one point that caused him to have a conniption. So. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't even looking at my phone. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to meet, there. To get the hell out meet of there. there very shortly. I'm going to go get. Uh, okay. I'm going to go get Travis. Okay, I'm going to get up and walk to the big border. Cool. As you're walking, Stan, towards uh, Travis, uh, you pass by the lounge. What do you mean? What's plus composure rule? Wits plus composure. I'm assuming no danger sense. Nope. Okay. That's long gone. I don't even need it again. Three successes on my wits plus composure. You notice uh, that on the table in the lounge, soon about are some flyers and stuff like that. Okay. Any particular? And like a red envelope that looks like a flyer as well. Was it like an envelope? All right. This catches my eye. I will stop, and I will take a look at the red envelope. Well, the first thing you notice about this red envelope is it's crimson red, and a very beautiful velvety crimson red. Mm -hmm. And when you flip it, it's uh, kind of like you can open it up, kind of thing. It's like it's not like glued together or licked together. It's very commercial. And inside, it's like you. It says you were invited to. The first few words that you pull out. What do you want to do? I'll keep pulling it out. What am I invited to? To the grand opening of a new bar. Interesting. In uh, in town, like near in the uh, the bar scene area that I was talking about earlier. Okay. And uh, it's uh, you know gives you like things like oh you know appies are half off beers are except, you know really really low price we have like you know eighteen b beers on draft you know it's going to be quite the little you know shindig you're invited I uh, want you know to establish ourselves in the community. Right kind of thing, and uh, it also says uh, that um, our new owner, or sorry, the new owner, uh, his name is, <clears throat> sorry, just choked. Uh, the new owner there uh, is really excited to uh, for this venture. Uh, he used to live in Uptown, um, and uh, he had a business there, a, a restaurant business, uh, and he's uh, looking to expand essentially, and uh, yeah. And, up and his, uh, the, it says, the mob, the mob logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, at the bottom it says, uh, like a little uh, in in italicized. Uh, you know, I'm really excited for this new uh, this new uh, business uh, venture that he. Yeah, I hope it does well. You know, Gotham's a great city. I want to you know make it more vibrant. I'm here to you know put some life back into to Gotham, and uh, I want to celebrate this. And uh, I hope to see you all there. Uh, there's a coupon that's actually attached to it. Uh, you know, redeem one of these uh, for a free drink on me. And there's uh says, love, Louie. Ah, oh, Louie. All right. Well, I'll bring it with me into the boardroom. The bar is called Requiem. Oh, how, how unusual. <laughs> I'll, uh, right? knock on, I'll knock on uh, Travis, the glass of Travis's office there. Sounds good. Uh, my door was open. Just okay. I still knock. Wander on in. Oh, okay. I'll hey, peek around just, the desktop that I'm hiding behind. Oh, we're just gonna meet in the large boardroom there. Gotta resolve seven deadly sins stuff. Gotta invite Big to a room. new bar here from Louis. And that's uh, I'm sorry, from who? Louis. I waggled the red envelope. <sighs> Yeah, I guess that's big boardroom worthy. Yep. Okay. So there we are. And the one thing, you, sorry, one thing you do notice about the, the the advertisement that was given to you, it probably is a general advertisement, it's not like directed directly to you or to yeah, the lawyers. Yeah. Or it's a pretty general one. Continue. Yeah, but I take everything personally now. There's no such thing as Fair randomly enough. receiving anything. Everything feels like a plot device. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, 
Once everybody's in, we'll close the door. All right, let me get myself over there. Yeah, I was already in here. Yep. 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 I, I walk I into. walked past while you were chatting with uh, Travis. Yeah, sounds good. I walk in, take my seat. Hmm. Well, we got to tackle four more. And then we got to figure out what that last symbol is. I've got this invite from Louis. He's opening up a bar nearby in the neighborhood. It's called Requiem. Can't be good. Well, a little on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, can't be good. Um, so, what, anyone like anyone want to explain who Louis is? For he's a vampire. Audience? He's a mob mafiosi vampire. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, As one does. He heads up a family locally. And they run we, a restaurant. We barely got away from the, basically a, a vampiric clash in a nightclub. So if he's Travis opening, has a decent rapport with Louis, but it's choppy at best because it's still a vampire mafioso. I get they, along quite well with him. Didn't they give you like Vitae to to become more powerful and stuff? Uh, I don't know for sure. They gave me something, which made me really fast and really strong. And it was pretty jarring. But I can rationalize that away as like crystal meth, because that's a hell of a drug. Cool. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is this is where we are. Now, I was thinking we could tackle Lust next, because we got the tower there, and vihilo has got an in. Or, sorry, Clayton's got an in. But, uh... That's right. But we can always check out Louis's bar. That could be... Well, if it, if it comes to the, to the tower, uh, and I'll kind of side-eye Clayton, um, there might be other angles we could explore first. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but this was from, uh, and I'll, I'll fish out of my wallet. Um, I think it was a card, wasn't it, uh, DT? Correct. Yeah. This apparently was left to me by David, who was an NPC who kind of probably died in a fire, probably. Or as a no, result of not, not in a on literal On the way to fire. the hospital after I rescued him. Yes. But he was in rough shape. Very bad shape. Yes, he was. That was, that was like the best rescue op, though, ever there. It was. It was really good. It was pretty nice. Yeah, as far as the right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was pretty awesome. There is too much fire here. Yeah. There is not as much outside. We're going that way. So anyway. Well, I must yeah. admit that uh, I must admit that Clayton's saving uh, Diego the last story. Oh, my God. Reality. Are you really? Oh. He had you over the shoulder and everything, buddy. Right, I like a we're, like a babe. Just, I I think we're noticing a pattern in, in Clayton's behavior, where he just saves people. <laughs> Diego, David. Mm. Just, so you're gonna I'm you're gonna move into a messiah syndrome? Is that what? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of a delight to try and deal with. You've been in the ass, but at the end of it, he saves you anyway. <laughs> Have you gone full narcissist now? Yes, he is. He's yeah. narcissist right now. Well, nothing says narcissism. Nothing, like, yeah. Like a, like a messiah complex. <laughs> All right, what, is the, uh, what does the card say? Uh, well, if you'll remember from our last adventure in Terror Tower, they have rooms meant to fill desires. Yes, yes, I and recall. All kind of unseemly desires. This looks like a key, and I'll hold it up to get into one of those rooms. Oh, it's that kind of card. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of an experience David had set out for me. Getting that. What's that? I think. I, what was that? I remember you getting that. Yeah, it was a while ago. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but that was when we were inundated. I said, with... I think I, I think I remember. No, yeah, yeah, it was just a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But we were inundated yeah. with, as Stan called it, what, plot devices at that point, something like that. Yeah. So fuck you guys. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, we're a little too entangled with the building in that that is also the home of Clayton's other boss. You know, we've got... Yeah, but I think that that can get me into the oh, building yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've got this experience burning a hole in my pocket, and if I'm not mistaken, it was Envy? It Lust. was Envy, right, Clayton? That wanted us to take was it. Envy oh, or was was it? It? No, it's Envy. You're right. It was Envy. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Envy. Uh, spider yeah. ghost yeah. thing in the basement. And now Not that great. was in the basement of what, though? The gluttonous house. No, no, no. No, no, no. It was. Um, oh, no. You're right. The outdated house. Own little yeah. pocket dimension, yes. which jumps from house mm -hmm. to house and yeah, apparently yeah, just yeah, periodically yeah. eats people. Yeah. That's right. So. Yes. For those of but us also, playing the home game, this was all yes. in the great before time. We're going to try and save you time and just skate by it. You'll get explanations as we need, I guess. Essentially, Lust wants to make a deal with them to get rid of the other sins. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Continue. So, I mean, I haven't been really eager to follow up with what David left, but at the same time, I am still curious, which is why I have it. So we're now faced with the decision of, do we try and deal with the tower directly through Clayton's connection or do we try and explore this experience while we're there well or do we capitalize on lust and use lust to get rid of the other sins leaving lust for the end I mean it's not a bad way to go either but doesn't that's um... if lust will get directly involved yeah, that seems like a dangerous approach, too. Hmm. Like, if Lust will get involved, great. But... Lust did it's... specify that she wants to get rid of her father. Mm. Right? Remember that? And that was Belial? Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. None of them good. We could take out Envy. We know where to go, right? For Envy. That's true. We know how to kill them better now. Well, apparently, mm -hmm. if they're Fey, that means lead works. <laughs> and bullets are made of lead. That's handy. When did well, we find that out? Uh, I, over the past month, I've been doing some research. Oh. Yeah. Your search history has got to be messed up. Yeah, that algorithm is pretty. Fucked no, up. no further questions. You see what's coming yeah. in my junk mail. <laughs> we're we're leaving it there. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, as far as picking them apart using lead, did we run into pride yet? Yes, you have. You have run into pride. His name is Louie. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember because that was on the drum kit. Wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Wrath. Yeah, yeah. Wrath was on Diego's uh, mirror. Mirror. Wrath yep. mirror. Yep. Yeah. What if Diego is Wrath? I am not Wrath. Wrath. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, it... that's, that seems like a highly likely possibility. Kill him! <laughs> It oh my god! Doesn't not track is the thing of it. <laughs> it would it would explain a lot of the stuff that we've already been dealing with. That like is all all the, all the yelling. Yeah. Fuck all of you. That's I have shit. a long history of calling plant on things, and I'm looking <laughs> down that table pretty hard right now. I mean, I don't know if I'd necessarily just say yelling, but I would just say general workplace harassment. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> It's actually funny because my search history includes toxic work environments. It's fucking weird. 
Diego single handedly fuels wrath. Single handedly <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, that this episode's gonna be called The Wrath of Diego. <laughs> God damn it. Well we could go to my apartment and direct my meat like they just yeah, break my mirror. Bits. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Sign me up. <laughs> I like how we've definitely been through your apartment trashing the place. Yeah, left, yes, you have. Literally the mirror and the one object we were looking for. Yes. <laughs> that was awesome, uh, by the way. My, okay, are we going to break the security deposit? It was awesome. It's quick. We know where Louis is going to be. Go to Diego's house. But we know where Louis is going to be. Yeah, yeah. We got pride yeah, right here. I waved the. We've never had a problem. We've never yeah. had a problem finding Louis. It's just dealing with Louis yeah, that's a much mean, bigger concern. Killing a vampire seems hard. But we have a knife that turns yeah. to wood. <laughs> yeah, well, so, so Stan's great. actually going to step uh, up and do something. I, I do something all the time. What are you talking about? Sorry, I, I, I fully put my head in my hands and said, we also have a table made out of wood. That doesn't make the job any easier. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, honestly, guys. But it's a fine. magic dagger. Yeah, but... Oh, my God. What? It was given to us... Pers- Precisely okay, to okay, do okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I get that. But again, I reiterate vampire. I don't think it's so easy to go up and say, Hey, would you mind staying still enough where I could stake you in the heart? Please, thank you very you know much. What I helps appreciate with that. It. Daytime. Haven't you ever watched I'm... Dracula? Oh, I thought you oh I thought we could turn the knife into daylight. That'd be oh. a whole lot easier. Oh, fire! Oh, can you? Probably turn it into that's fire. Called a, that's that's called a flashlight at that point. <laughs> well, you can turn it into fire. <laughs> fire? Could we? I, I, I I've not really done an overabundance of testing on the thing. It turns into your into like the fundamental elements. Yeah, and I've seen I've seen like physical changes, but this is like a, a fire is something different. Fire is. Maybe we could turn it to plutonium. Ooh, that would be a bad idea. And then everyone just dies. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, if you want a really fun farewell, just turn it into antimatter, because what could possibly go wrong? And Everything would go right, for, probably. For reference, I have a science of one, so I can say that. <laughs> I have a science of zero, so I am like, ant who? Yeah, that yeah. sounds that's, anyway. that's sound great. Yeah. Let's do that. Fair enough. Um, no, like the fundamental, like like traditional elements, not like periodic table. You know, also correct. <laughs> fire, metal. Earth, well, let's. Should air. we? Should we test this thing so we understand fully what we're using it for? Well, I have tested it. I showed you how to use hey, it. You did, but I've not. That doesn't mean I've been playing with it. Why? And I appreciate. Why would you do that? You've had a month. I, I appreciate. Your childlike curiosity, but I also can't get over the the Billy Idol thing and just how abrasively accurate that turned out to be. That was that was so expensive. and so all the more reason not to doubt me. <laughs> For those playing at home, I never really able to listen to White Wedding again. I accurately predicted, without any foreknowledge just what Dark Templar's plan was by analyzing Billy Idol song lyrics. It was the most amazing thing in the world. Amazing. To my to my anger. <laughs> I figured it out. I was really I know, upset with just that. Just by, by going on a tangent with Billy Idol song lyrics. Ooh. Dark Templar might be rage or might be wrath. Well that's why that's, that's why we're suffering so much possible. in this game. I know I know definitely the reason I suffered. <laughs> Only made him stronger. Yeah. All right so Death is- You've got a today is the knife. grand today is the grand opening of that uh, that bar. So, yeah. All right, and it's, let's go kill it. It has every then. indication of being a plot device. So <laughs> every indication. It even has hooks in it. I think. All right, all right. Let's get ready to kill a vampire let's go in our months. But we should do it during formal. the day. Okay. Yeah, well, what time is it? It's yeah. You've got it's like morning time, right? In the morning. Have, let's go now. Out. In the morning. Yeah, so let's go scope this place out. Let's just go right now and kill him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, he, if that's where he's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to sleep at the bar. He yeah, might. I bet, I bet he's probably maybe possibly. He might. He might want to make the most of the... I mean, because what, what, what season is it right now? It is summer. 
So, yeah, he's going to need to make the most of every hour of nighttime. It's the shortest time. You might as well sleep close Not to that. a bad the... point. Hmm. Fair enough. So what do you guys want to do then? What is the plan? Let's go to the, let's go to the bar now. Yeah, let's scope let's it out. the guy now. Yeah. Now, I have to ask. We've scoped things out in the past. Uh-huh. And that's worked out marvelously. Are we scoping out with weapons on us, or are we scoping oh, out yeah. with the? I'm bringing my yeah, Kevlar vest. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Like I'm, I'm bringing this like gun that I got in uh, Delaware. I'm bringing the Death Dealer, my kick-ass sword. I'm gonna bring my lock picks. We'll just break into there. It's always nice to have an entry. Let's guy. just do it. Yep, I'm bringing my Kevlar an vest. Entry guy, an attack guy. Uh, I'm the guy. I'm bringing my Kevlar best, my katana, uh, my cane sword because I actually need a cane now. And uh, oh, it's a oh, see, I, it's the perfect cover. Yeah, should I bring the assault rifle too? Do you have anything built into the leg yet? No, no. This is, I'm not Jeez. Rose McGowan, man. You should Jeez. totally have like the like a like a, a sword cane prosthetic. I don't think I'm limber enough for that. Or a sniper rifle attack. Just think more like yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Like a missile one. launcher. Go for the go for the rocket jump. That's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, I'm sure we could get something built in. Well, the point is, I don't have one now. For those playing at home, uh, Diego's well, human person has always wanted to have a cane sword in every RPG that we've ever played ever, <laughs> just so true. you know. It's true. I, it's have a, most... I, have a, I have a cane sword in real life. Ah. It's, it's sad. That I bought by accident. I didn't even realize it was a cane, a cane sword until I got it home. I'm like, hey, this is really loose. Oh, there's a sword in it. Yeah. Totally can't anyways. actually. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. So, yeah. So, you guys are all geared up to go, I guess. Yeah. In the, in the yeah. bat vault. And yeah, just, like right. all your all That's your equipment's right. there. You just like there's like this big action sequence of you like putting like your guns and, and you like put all the shells in. You strap on extra shells. We did a, we did a montage. No, we did a montage. Yeah, yeah. Don't right. describe it that way because it's just going to be hurtful. Where everyone's like throwing guns on and I'm just putting on gloves, <laughs> <You're the laughs> putting a knife in a sheet and just like yeah no we're good let's do this and a, and a slight cup check just to make sure that it's there. Yeah. yeah 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 and then you have a montage. You walk out ever so slowly. And you just walk past Deborah, and she looks at you like, "The fuck!" <laughs> you walk out. <laughs> you have like all have aviators on with like toothpicks yeah. in your mouths. Just like, you ready to go? I'm not Mr. Pink. Yeah. though. not Mr. Do Pink. you want to say anything before to Deborah before you leave? Any like catchy? Oh, 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 oh! All my calls. Oh, you're off the fucking chain. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> 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 uh okay this is that yeah um sound, sounds good <laughs> you're just so you're outside this car are we right taking it right out. completely out of place compared <laughs> right, to yeah, it's, it's else right out, really really bright out <laughs> that's right we're <laughs> armed to the we teeth. <laughs> look yeah. ridiculous and you're currently sweating because it's actually quite hot in gotham in the summer it's the middle of summer yeah you like you like instant, instantly perspire <sighs> really like warm little, here guys like, like a mist like <laughs> everyone's wet all of a sudden <laughs> what do you um, want to do uh, my vote we turn it around call a taxi functional vehicles? <laughs> 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 call an uber <laughs> something Basically, a mobile air conditioning box. That's what we need. Well, no, let's let's call the cab driver that we had before. Perminder. Perminder. Yeah. Perminder. Yeah. All right. By the way, just for our audience, Perminder was not a racially biased uh, selection. <laughs> it was just randomly chosen. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that completely out there. Uh, all right, so you guys call up Perminder, and, he a, and was he a cabbie? I thought he was. I thought he drove like an SUV. Yeah, he's he drives like a he's yeah, like Uber, Uber driver, right? Like yeah. yeah. I just want to make that absolutely clear. It's like I'm not like hitting some stereotypes here. Somebody be like, "Oh my gosh, that guy!" But uh, yeah, anyways. So um, yeah, poor Minner drives up. Uh, he's got a new vehicle. He's got a he's got a Hummer. Oh wow! Like like a nice. full like a H1 or like an H3. He's got an H3. Okay, oh, so like, oh, that's yeah. not very good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> he's got rims that spin. We'll, I like we'll, how we'll take, we'll like, take oh. the next one. <laughs> Jeez, not up to my standards. Anyways, he's like. And so he looks down on you guys because he's so high up. 
And uh, he's like, hey, call for a ride. I'm your man. You are indeed. You are. I am. You have I AC am. in there? Do I? Thank nice God. Box in here. Oh, you know Turn what? it up as high as possible, man. Yeah, and you know what else, guys? Hmm. Shotgun. And I Fuck! get into the front. Yeah. Now you would have beat him there. Oh, Jesus. So anyways, yeah, you hop in and, uh, oh, it's, it's nice. It's, uh, um, Venetian leather inside. It's pretty, it's pretty Ooh. swank. It's got, it's all like decked out in like these LED lights. That's um, like a fine Corinthian leather. Almost as fine. Cash cab? This is, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> cash cab? <laughs> oh, it could God. be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're at a red light, guys. Um, but yeah, um, he's like, so where you guys, where you guys been? I haven't uh, heard from you guys in a long time. Oh, you know, go to work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, work uh, retreats. Uber's been good to you, Permander. Yeah, actually, not only that, but, uh, I was able to, uh, do a little investing, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was called the, uh, the Gotham Art Gallery. Oh. I, uh, yeah, I invested in the, uh, they actually made me, they put me on the, on the board. What? And uh, we've been making, an... oh. <laughs> and uh, since since I've gotten there, I've made some pretty good sales, and uh, you know we we've, we've made actually quite a lot of money on a lot of the uh, the art that's been produced there from local uh, local talent, and it's booming. You guys should you guys should come by. I'll even give you uh, an extra platinum uh, uh, membership each and every one of you. I'll give you each one for free on the house. This. This oh. conversation is single-handedly fueling wrath through Diego. <laughs> I'm so angry. It's, it's just unbelievable. Diego now. We've already knocked the other one out. <laughs> I know. Like, that's, oh, my God. We'd almost be better off. Like, my God. Well, that's, that's great. I'd, I'd love one of those. Yeah. Let's just drive. Yeah. Let's just drive. Yeah. Let's just drive. He, and he literally just opens the center console. He goes, here you go, buddy. And oh, he popped wow. one. Diego, you know, how much Parmander, did you you're, always, you're always taking care of us. It man. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how much I made for. I appreciate. I'm pretty sure it was in the thousands. You. Was it not? Fifteen. Fifteen thousand oh, dollar membership for a woman. Yeah. Trying to yeah. impress a girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, it's, it, things have been really, really uh, good there. Um, yeah, they really seem to like me. I'm doing really well. I'm not going to stop doing this though. I really enjoy the ride. I enjoy picking people up. You know, hearing their stories and things like that. Um, you know, a pretty good source of information if you ever you know, need to roll for it. Uh, that's our <laughs> character, obviously. But uh, since you haven't used me at all for any of that in the entire time we've played this game. But um, other than that, yeah, things have been going pretty damn well. What are you guys off to, anyways? We're going to this place. I show them the invite. Oh, yeah, I heard about this place. Oh, yeah, what'd you it's, hear? It's uh, pretty... Uh, it's supposed to be a... Uh, it has, like, three-floor nightclub, apparently. Yeah. Cool. It's, uh, yeah... Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, each Does floor it... is a different theme, and uh, the themes are supposed to change, I heard, like, on a monthly basis. So it keeps it pretty fresh. I don't know how they're going to afford that, but, like, apparently it's it's going to be, like, the next best thing. Hopefully it does well, because obviously Gotham could use a leg up. Yeah, yeah. I hear the, uh, Absolutely. I hear the uh, art gallery is rather a lucrative way of affording things. Exactly. Well, you know, the, the trick is, you know, that... Artists just self appraise and buy their own shit and just keep self appraising, and then it gets really, really expensive, and then we just sell it for a lot of money. I'm sure the memberships well, it's, it's, also help. It's actually interesting you mentioned that because the owner, uh, uh, Louis, I don't know if you realize this, but he was there um, at the last auction. So was he's, he? a, he's yeah. an avid collector, so he oh. should probably be all over your radar. Louis, I don't, I don't recall a Louis, but I could check the books, but. I don't recall the loot. Maybe he's going well, yeah, by this a different is, name. This is, this is more for your your function at the art gallery. This is just so you Give, know. Giving you a tip. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Well, yeah, I haven't uh, I, I haven't run about across that name in particular. It would be a pretty odd name to remember. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't ring any bells. But, yeah, I'll look for it for sure. For sure. But, yeah, no, things have been going really well, man. Really well. Really well. You should join. Uh, Diego, I'd be right up your alley. I, I, I'm, I, I have joined. I have for oh. a few years. Oh, um, okay. Uh, have you been to any of the, the meetings? We've been busy, so no. Oh, okay. Well, I've been able to maybe, maybe that was it. It's a whole new look now. 
whole new look. Okay, okay. Well. Yeah, we got jellyfish everywhere. It's crazy. Jellyfish. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, like again, Diego here has bought some of your uh, uh, some of the pieces at the auction. So I'm surprised that's he's right. not all over your radar too. That's right. That's right. I, I knew. That's, yeah. I think that's the last time I was actually there. I bought that painting. Nice. That was a pretty expensive one, though. Yeah, it was. Man, you're was a baller. Um, She'd be driving I, me around. Holy cow! That kind of money. What? How? What? What? How does? It... <laughs> you are now wealthy enough to be my driver. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like, how does that work? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, your ride's got to be not nicer than this ride, right? Uh, I, I, it's, I, it's, it used it's to be. Okay. Used, to be. used to be. Yeah, just don't don't ask about Diego and cars. Actually, I've been pretty good with cars, uh, but uh, yeah, somebody did rip the interior out. Uh, I think I got it fixed. I think. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Well, anyways, yeah. Um, well, it's been nice are we, are we, are we almost? Permanent. Are we almost there? Yeah. Are we almost there? <laughs> yeah. Um, we're almost. He stopped at a red light. Oh, um, good idea. And uh, she's kind of just chit chatting a little bit there. Have you seen Carol lately, there, Diego? He's, she's been on in my ride a couple of times now. I've been driving through a lot of places. Yeah, yeah, I've seen her a few times. Uh, we we still we still in touch. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How's okay. uh How's Carol doing? She's good. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing really well. Uh, last night we went to dinner, and uh, yeah, she's 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 doing really well. Mm -hmm. Or are you guys still uh, uh, together? Are you guys seeing each other still? Or yeah, why not? Like she's still a beautiful woman, and uh, she's still doing that escorting stuff. So yeah, still like I really enjoy her company. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> silence. <laughs> so he eventually uh, gets to the, uh, the side there and uh, the side of the road where you see uh, the word Requiem. It's uh, in a very uh, gothic uh, font. Uh, uh, it's kind of displayed in a diagonal from uh, the G being on the bottom left to the uh, to sorry, not bottom left. Uh, G, sorry. Uh, R be on the bottom left, <laughs> like, rising to the end. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> sorry, I was a little gothic <laughs> for a second there. My bad. It's a crazy bad. font they're using. Hey, hey, hey! It's been a long day. Right? Give me a, give me a break here. <laughs> so yes, starting with the R at the bottom left and going diagonally to the top there, with the finishing off with an M. And um, anyways, he's like, all right, well, um, you know what, guys? This one's on the house. I haven't seen you guys in so long. I love catching up with you. And um, yeah, have fun. I guess it's a little early, don't you think? The club oh, we're just yeah, tour. we're we're gonna talk to the. Uh, we want to kind of invest, so we're gonna talk to the uh, owner. Sounds good to me. Well, if you need a ride back, uh, don't be uh, don't be afraid to holler. Thanks, Perman. Awesome, you're the best. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, don't don't leave yeah. the neighborhood because that sounds pretty good. Well. I mean, I mean, he like, does have to work. I mean, yeah, he's got yeah. a, got yeah. drivers. Like he's not. Gonna I don't know that he does have to work. In fact. Anyway, All right, so I'm out of the cab, way. walking into. the... How are we going, guys? Yeah, we're, going, and, uh, we're going. We're going. In. And uh, as he leaves, he kind of he, he uh, also checks you uh, a membership there, uh, Travis, on the way out. So yeah, come visit me sometime. Will do. Thanks. No problem. <sighs> and I'm I'm gonna hold it up to my ear and look Diego coldly in the eyes and be like, "That sound it sounds like fifteen thousand dollars." Weird. And then I'll just pocket it. I don't know why I haven't fired you. <laughs> I, I want to turn to Diego and say, that's because you know you'll suffer without us. Mm. And then I'm just going to open up the door to this spot and walk in. Yeah, so the door is open. And uh, when you walk in, there are like about 50 to 60 people uh, inside. And uh, they're all walking around, like cleaning things, putting chairs here, there, it seems as though... That's quite um, the staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And uh, most of them are in, like, dress, you know, dress shirts kind of thing with their, their, their sleeves rolled up and, uh, you know, with ties on. And yeah, it looks like they're, they're doing some cleaning there, a little bit of electrical here and there. Uh, just getting... You hear, like, people like, yeah, oh, is that ready? Is that good? He's like, does that sound good? And you hear, like, some people hitting, like, uh, some music, like some bass uh, on one floor. And uh, you see people like putting bottles and getting basically ready for service. It seems like. Cool. Does any of this uh, tick off my uh, or kick off my unseen sense? What is your unseen sense again? 
Uh, I believe it is vampires. Mine's for relics. No. Are there any relics? Neither. There, there no. are neither. That, that mine's, for, mine's, mine's for spirits. Ah, uh, there's none there either. There's got to be booze. Yeah, I was gonna say the gun. I, I, yeah, I got you now. Oh, yeah. You're so funny. Uh, yeah, fuck you. Anyways, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't go back and be like, "Oh, you actually do sense vampires everywhere." <laughs> yeah, and the door closes and you're yeah. never again. Um. Anyways, uh, so, uh so a young lady. The Gotham Chronicle. No. Yeah. <laughs> a young lady, uh, about maybe like maybe five foot, uh, walks to you or to a brunette with a uh, purple lipstick. Um, and, uh, she, she walks up and says, hi, uh, fellas, can, can we help you? We don't open for another six, seven, 12 hours. I put my hand on Diego's chest and just say, I'll take care of this. And I step forward to her, give her a smile <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh, I'm going to, uh, I like the unnecessary springboard. I, I love what it. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that's fucking about. You're such an asshole. That's awesome. You're all ducky treat me terribly. I don't, you're all assholes. I'm, I I, I'm just, I'm your brother. I know I, my strengths. I know your strengths. I think it's, it's the fact that Carol got mentioned and that was the original, like the 1.0 attempt to scoop a girl. It was the yeah, only attempt the to scoop a girl. Now the shoe's on the other foot. So it's just, yeah. 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 Yep. So I'm going to totally. flash the pearly whites and uh, yeah, and I'm going to try to do a little manipulation plus persuasion plus my striking looks to get her to uh, to help me find out how I can get a tour of this place. Persuade her to give us a tour of every nook and cranny because we are investors um, here by request from Louis, the owner, and uh, we're here to to really give it a once over to see if it's worth uh, worth investing in. We wanted to okay. see before it got packed full of people uh, to see what it looks like in bright light as opposed to uh, things he might be able to hide and conceal on us, like possibly where he sleeps during the day. But <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, go for that roll then. All right, so this would be... Here we go. And what do we got? Persuasion roll, right, you said? Yeah, and I'm going to use that's fast talk as well. Yeah. Are you use your, I think you're using your presence then, right? Uh, my striking looks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, for your attribute, you're using your presence No, then? manipulation. Trying to oh, manipulation. It. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, yeah, and so this is here, and there we go. Um, I would say, do I get any sort of bonuses for how we're dressed or? No, I, I say can no. I, can I hand her like a, a, a business card sort of thing? Yeah, sure. I'll give you that. Would That's that fine. give a little bonus? I'll give you that. Sure. Why not? Cool. You really want your exceptional success, don't you? Oh yeah. Another one. Two for two in one game. But you know me, I got all the dice in the world now, so I'm going to roll no successes. So yeah, that's much. just a bonus of one, or yeah, I'll give you a bonus of one. Four successes, so close. That's not bad. That's not well, bad. When you look at the number of dice, I had ten dice, eleven dice, only four successes. That's 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 better than zero. So, yeah. um, go ahead. What do you want to say? Ah, uh, exactly, kind of what I was just summarizing there. That hi, say, oh, okay. I'm uh, Stan Nowak of uh, Nowak and Valez. Um, yeah. we're looking at actually making some investments in the local community here and, uh, slip her the card, um, and show her the, the invite. Um, yeah. we know Louie personally and, um, uh, we want to back his venture, but we want a, a decent tour of the place. You are my and smile goes, with my, my pearly whites. Yeah. And she kind of, she kind of flushes a little bit and puts her hand to her chest and, uh, kind of gives a little bit of a flutter, um, as, it, clearly, she's heating up by your striking good looks. Well, I do. And uh, I take as she, my hand as she off grab- Diego's chest. <laughs> yeah, and thank you. And she grabs the card. She's kind of like fanning herself a little bit as well uh, with the card. And she goes, "Oh my, um, my name's my name's Veronica. Oh. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet and you." And she kind of even like sticks out her hand ever so daintily towards yeah. you. I take it in one hand and put my other hand on top. Yeah, and just and, uh, look, at, look at her in her eyes and smile at her. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, she's she swoon, we'll say. Uh, and uh, she's like, okay, well, uh, if if you knew if you know Louis, then obviously uh, people obviously don't call him by name very often. Um, but uh, yeah, you can get to the place anywhere you want to start off at. Do you want to start at the top and move our way down? Sure, actually, even the roof would be good. We really want to make she sure says this that place is. In, and if she uh, says that from the top all the way down, she kind of like looks you over at the same time. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Sorry. You want to go to the roof first? Well, seeing the roof would be good. Make sure that it's in good repair. It's also okay. rather secluded up there. I'm sure I give her a wink. Yep. Yeah. Um, we will, we can take the, uh, elevator up. Uh, there is an elevator right there. Like, and there's also, st- you know, you see there's stairs as well as elevators, actually two sets of stairs. I go on, both sides um and then an elevator that also travels then you can see that there's an elevator access on each floor uh of the uh, club that's you know has three different dance clubs on it uh, i like that it's inclu- it does not include the, it does not include the uh, floor that you're on by the way uh that's like the, the bar floor essentially where you are currently oh okay yeah and so uh, all right then we'll follow me and all uh right. do your friends want a drink then Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, probably. I'd imagine, right, guys? You don't. You still I, drink. I could. I, I could use it. You know, <clears throat> do we still drink? Yes, of course. Yes. Do we yes. still drink? All right. Absolutely. And guys, and uh, she kind of, uh, she kind of looks over and says, "Uh, she goes, uh, Dario, fix these guys up something. Whatever they want. They're with Louis. I'm gonna take this one. I hold her hand. And yeah, and she says, "Just follow me." And uh, they start. You guys head to the. Uh, the elevator there and she hits the button for the up and we are going to end there oh yeah for today it's business yeah, we're gonna time. End there. <laughs> oh dear god we're gonna get your business Jeez. socks on i got my business socks on that's why they call and me your business. mullet <laughs> and my what and uh in a mullet you have a mullet, a mullet? Well. what are you talking about no well, i'm just yeah. saying you know party in the front Six, if anybody's got a mullet time. it's travis oh, yeah I, yeah, he probably does. Yeah, um, I, I could gotta, actually see it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're ending that for uh, today here. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, thanks guys for joining me uh, today as well. And uh, as was said earlier, if you like us, uh, you know, hit us a like, uh, comment in the below of what you think may happen in our next episode. And if you really like us, uh, hit that subscribe button. It really does help our uh, our channel and our group. And uh, if you ever feel the need to hit up our Patreon, that'd be awesome as well. Everything goes towards making the show that much better and uh, we thank you for being here with us this evening thanks a lot guys oh don't forget the discord thanks. we also have a discord oh yeah we yes, do have a discord that's right. we have discord yes yeah. check us out converse and we'll talk to you guys next time good night bye bye bye